Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm so excited. This is the third continuous Toronto vlog. I'm so happy to be back in my groove. I've been loving vlogging again. Finally found my groove again. Anyway, so today we are kicking off the vlog with actually a photo shoot. I have to drive there right now, but it is with my entire agency. So a lot of the Toronto creators will be there and we rented a studio and I'm super excited to show you guys and just meet a lot of the other creators. I feel like I should know everyone by now, but in case I didn't, um, I will be doing that. And I'm excited to take you guys with me. It is officially my turn. Christina is shooting us today. Yay, visit her page but she's doing our shots. This is our, is this our first scene? This is, right? Yes. Okay, this is our first scene. Just wearing some loungewear. Okay, we are shooting for our out of office chips. Anyway, this is what it looks like. At least we know the chips are gonna be good. I just got back from the out of office shoot. I feel like I am so exhausted. It was so much fun though. I am so happy I got to see everybody and it was just really good vibes because I feel like I know a lot of the creators but we didn't get to spend that much time together so it was really nice to spend time with them. We filmed a few TikToks which by now it should be up so you guys can go check them out. But anyway, today has been super draining. I ended up charging my car as well and I had to do so much more work behind the scenes. But tomorrow it's going to be another full work day and I don't think I have an event tomorrow but I do have therapy tomorrow so I'm very excited for that and yeah can't wait to take you guys along. Hi guys, welcome to another day. I'm all dressed up because I'm actually about to go to the Mac event. I feel like I haven't really vlogged today because honestly, all I've been doing is work, okay? It's Black Friday for me because I, I see that because I feel like by the time you're watching this vlog, it's no longer gonna be Black Friday, but I am so busy. It's absolutely insane, but I'm finally leaving the house today. I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing though. This dress is from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like it's super appropriate for this event because it's pretty much like a holiday event. Um, it's like a blizzard theme. I wanted to wear white, but I don't have a white dress. So I'm like, you know what? I need to wear a holiday dress. This bag is from Cara. I absolutely love it. Um, you guys can still buy it off of Essence and obviously my jewelry is from Monica Vinader. Everything is always linked, you guys, okay? So this one, lisaway.com slash essence. This, lisaway.com slash Monica Vinader. You can find all the links all the time. Um, but anyway, I'm heading out now and I will see you guys there. This is what was in the MAC goodie bag. I'm just so excited. Their holiday stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. And you can even see that the theme here is silver. I love that you can see the packaging. It's just so nice. Even the lipstick, it's just so icy. 
if you guys have any friends that are mac lovers this would make such great christmas presents like look at this there's the primer this is their skincare this is their little set i love the mascara and also the setting spray and this is what i'm most excited to try this is the lipstick that has glitter in it hi guys happy black friday i have not spent any money it's so funny because actually no i lied <gasps> i did spend money um earlier today so my new morning routine is basically i go to the gym and i bring my laptop and i work and usually i also if i have any returns to do at the mall i always do it during this time because i don't like going to the mall when there's a lot of people so anyway this morning i brought my stuff to return only to forget that it's black friday and the only reason i forgot because it's such a big day for me for work but the reason i forgot is because every year black friday gets started earlier and earlier and earlier so i've been promoting black friday like three fridays ago you know so for me today i just like stumble into the mall with my bag full of shit only to find out nobody was doing returns because it was black friday also because I was like, oh my god, the mall opens at 10. So I'm gonna be there right at 10 when there's gonna be nobody. No, but it's Black Friday. So it opened at 7 and everybody was there already and it was freaking packed. Anyway, I did end up getting some stuff from Aloe and I do wanna do a haul for you guys, like a really quick haul. Maybe not right now, but like tomorrow. Um, I want to do a really quick call of the things that I got from like Black Friday so far, thus far, because I didn't even get it all today because it's been starting. Um, oh yeah, yes, there's also like a chocolate bar right in front of me. If you guys have not tried this chocolate bar, by the way, my ADHD is so adhd right now. This is so good. This is, I think it's like a European brand. I actually literally got this from Albania though. I just didn't get a chance to eat it yet. But anyway, I'm eating it now. It's really good. I'm just so exhausted. I feel like all I want to do today is stay home and read. So life update. I'm part of a book club now. It's with all the girls I used to work with at Bell. And the first book that we're reading is called Everything I Never Told You. And it's by the same author who wrote Little Fires Everywhere. I didn't read that book yet but anyway i'm really excited because it's gonna force me to read every single month and today i'm just gonna have a chill day because i feel like after just traveling so much and always having events for work as you guys saw from yesterday's mac event i all the time just want to lie down and be alone at home so today is friday night i have absolutely no intention of going out i just want to stay home read my book and it is the best feeling in the entire world i even ordered some uber eats from my favorite ramen place it's called ramen ishin so i ordered okay you guys get this i ordered a ramen um pork gyozas and chicken karage for basically $30 because I have Uber One and also um, they gave me a 40% off discount. So I was like, oh my God. And the pork gyozas were buy one, get one free. So I literally have two pork gyozas, one ramen, one chicken gyoza for the price of like $30 and then plus tax and tip. Isn't that insane? Anyway, I can't wait to show you when my food gets here. Oh my God, my food is here. My food, not me running. I am so excited right now. Oh my God, I'm literally so stoked. Why does this look and feel lighter than it should? I don't know. Why, why, why? Okay, let's unpack this, shall we? We got this right here. Oh my God, guys, if you are in Toronto, you need to try this ramen place. It is literally my favorite ramen restaurant in the entire city. I have not had better ramen, so if you know of a better ramen place, feel free to let me know wow this is very small much smaller than i thought okay this is the ramen soup this is is this not tiny i'm not gonna lie i'm a little disappointed you guys like and the order of okay actually this is okay there's four pieces i'm so excited for this chicken karage oh my god i'm gonna just be a savage because you guys have no idea how hungry i am but i'm gonna do a taste test for you let's see the gyozas Mmm, so good. I should get a plate, but I don't even care. Mmm, so good. Okay, right, I'm gonna be enjoying my dinner. I will see you guys tomorrow. 
Hey guys, welcome to another day. I am currently in traffic. Who misses when I vlog when I'm on autopilot? Anyway, I know some people like oddly ask for that in a previous, like a lot of previous vlogs. But anyway, ah! this new camera stand is like not as good as my old one. But anyway, I am currently on my way to Scarborough. I'm about to have lunch with Sarah and Jonathan. Obviously, they're always in the vlogs. So we're actually visiting this new restaurant called, sorry, this car is now trying to change lanes, but we're going to this restaurant called Dear Saigon and it's a Vietnamese restaurant. And I'm so excited because if you guys don't know, I love pho. Like I love Vietnamese food in general. I am convinced at in some point in my lifetime before I was Vietnamese at in one of them I don't know I, I'm just convinced because for me the food just tastes so homey and just like I don't know just it like warms my body you know so it's good because obviously the weather right now is getting really cold so it's just really nice to be able to eat something hot and soupy also there's like terrible traffic which is why it's the perfect time to do autopilot and also be vlogging because there's horrendous traffic um but anyway i will see you guys there oh i see sarah Hello, everybody. Okay, guys, this is the first drink that we're getting. This is such a pretty Vietnamese coffee. Look at this. How do I drink this? Oh, okay, you can adjust your sweetness, right? By like, by mixing in however much condensed milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said so mix it, and then before you take a sip, make sure you Foam without the straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm. I don't like it very sweet, so I like how this you can like adjust it yourself. Because you guys know I drink my coffee black, so like. You guys know black coffee. So she's like, oh, I'm lactose, but look at the color of her coffee. <laughs> Good thing I'm not going home with her. You are, though. Good luck, bro. He's also lactose, too. On milk and stuff. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Hello? See, he can, he can eat cheese. Wait, we're still food. driving my car, too. Our first dish is here. Ready? Ooh. I almost, like, spilled it. Look at this. This is so cute. It's like a teeter top. I'm so excited. Okay, this is my main. If you guys know, this is my favorite Vietnamese dish. I abbreviated it myself to BBH, but nobody actually calls it that. I think we can take the top. Mm. So good. Wow, look at this. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm so excited. Holy. Oh, also, these are the best spring rolls I've ever had. That was so good. Were these a stamp? Yeah, no. Uh, okay, Jonathan just got his vermicelli, and like, guys, is the presentation of this place not so good? Like, look at this. Everything is just so nice. All right, guys, moment of truth. BBH. This is exactly why we're black. Prepare for this moment. All right, guys, I'm gonna try this. I don't know what this is. I've never had it before, but it's so good. Guys, time to try the scallops. I was saying that I like when the food is really hot and it burns my throat. Probably not good, but anyway. Ooh, no, this is too hot. I can't even hold it. Okay, it has finally cooled off. Are we ready? Cheers, everybody. Okay. Mm. There's egg. Wait, it's so good, like, mm, all mixed up. Yeah. 
like everything mixed together is so good. Yo, this girl is making herself way too comfortable, man. She's literally bringing a freaking butt pillow? What the heck? Oh my god, whoa. Okay guys, part of my Markham Adventures today, slash Scarborough, whatever you want to call it, um, I am going to get a pineapple bun. If you guys don't know, I absolutely am in love with pineapple buns, if it's made well, okay? Um, so the only place, the only place I get my pineapple buns are in the GTA is this bakery called Lucullus Bakery. It is so good, let me show you guys. There's so many locations now. There's one at Fairview. Um, this one is in this plaza, I don't know what it's called but it's a common Markham Plaza that people know about. I don't know. Anyway, this is where I am today. Guys, I secured the goods. These are all for me. Like, I just wanted to stock up, but then I forgot that tomorrow I'm also coming back to Markham. So like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but whatever. Anyway, I'm very excited. I'm probably not gonna eat them now. Anyway, oh, maybe I should. I'll have one bite, cause it's hot. I can't resist. Okay, I'll have one bite and show you guys because this is the best thing to have ever happened to me. Guys, honestly, I just want to find someone that makes me as happy as an almond croissant does, as this bolo yao does. This is, by the way, this is how it's pronounced, I think, in Cantonese. I'm not Cantonese, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I'm Taiwanese. But anyway, without the butter inside, it's called bolo bao. And then with the butter inside, it's called bolo yao. That's one of the only things I learned from dating so many Cantonese boys in my lifetime. I don't date them anymore, but anyway, just, there was a time when I did. It's so good! Would you like, oh wait, you can't. Sarah's lactose intolerant. Would that... you like to risk it or? No, no, okay, I already had, <laughs> I already had the, uh, the milk tea. Not the milk tea, I the, had the Vietnamese the... coffee. Uh-huh. Which has, uh, 90%. Oh my god. Creep. I was like, I'm not gonna eat it now. Then I'm like, okay, I'll have one bite because it's warm. Two bites later. I'm gonna have another one. Mm -hmm. We are currently changing in our car. I just changed into this outfit right here. I'm obsessed with this red leather blazer and these boots, you guys. Oh my god, I cannot wait to show you on Instagram. These boots are so nice they're like these fold over boots they're from pretty little thing and it's so cute i'm obsessed but i just want to show you what the back of my car looks like it's literally a closet i'm just happy that this car can keep us warm because it's electric so hi guys i just got back from markham and i'm already immediately going to my friend's birthday party it's her birthday and also her housewarming she lives so far but she bought a really beautiful house it's like near sugo which is basically on the west side of toronto on lower street west sorry the car is driving itself right now but anyway yeah i'm excited to kind of take you guys along i haven't really taken my vlog camera out to um a party in a really long time so i'm super excited to be obnoxious with my camera again um because vlogs are back and we wait for nobody. I will take you guys with me. Good morning, everyone. I am so tired this morning and I'm all the way back in Scarborough again because I'm here to do my nails a little bit of my nail chipped off and also I I don't know I wasn't like digging the color I don't know why I feel like this is why I'm so iffy with designs because I feel like every single time I get a design I get super sick of what it looks like halfway through and I want to change it early so I think like I manifested this because my nails barely break within like a short amount of time but then I was like kind of sick of the color and then it broke and then I'm like okay now I actually have a legitimate reason to uh, come and change it anyway so if you guys watched the last vlog or was it the vlog before then you'll know that I go to a boutique bar if you guys are in the GTA I highly recommend um you can even go to my description and you can see a link for 15% off your entire nails but anyway I'm here now we are back at my nail salon and this is the 
Okay, I am here. This is the best feeling in the world. It's just so warm and <laughs> relaxing. And then, of course, we have the massage chair, which I always love to use. because I was like, this is not free OnlyFans content, so, you know, that's not the channel for this. But anyway, we are here to do the hands. We're switching it up back to red. We're gonna test out a few reds because I might go a little bit darker this time. Okay, guys, this is the finished result. This was exactly what I was looking for. It's the darkest, darkest red possible. So if you're also interested, this is the nail polish that I got. It's in Bossy Gel Polish. 164 explosion if you guys liked my nails the first time when it was red it was this one it was 245 bossy in rising up and then this was the runner-up this was a close second i almost did this one i think i might do this next time but anyway if you guys are also curious this was a close second okay guys i am continuing the weekend in uptown so i'm actually currently at first markham place and we're checking out this new Lanzo ramen place called Goals. I'm so excited to show you guys. But anyway, I also love First Markham Place. I just feel like there is so much here. But let me show you. All right, this is the place. I'm so stoked. I'm also starving. Oh my god, the inside is so pretty. Look at that decor and look at this. It's so cute. Okay, this is what the inside looks like. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Say hi for the vlog. Okay guys, so this is the menu and you can pick your like noodles or whatever. Um, but the best part is you can pick what kind of noodles you want. If anybody needs any ideas, this is my usual go-to. I like the flat ones, but I feel like, like my mom personally likes some of the thicker ones. But anyway, it's really just your preference. It caters to everybody, which is why I love this so much. But anyway, and look at the side dishes. <gasps> I'm so excited right now. And then mommy, this looks so good. Okay, we also just got the beef brisket, right? This brisket? I love this dish. I mean, I haven't had it from here yet, but I just love this dish. I'm gonna try it on in front of the camera. Okay, there we go. See, I don't know how to hold it properly, but it works. Okay, right now. Mm. So good. Peanuts on top. And the Szechuan peppers, oh my god. I'm obsessed. Guys, look at this. I love this so much. And this one has egg. I just love that. Okay, guys, it is so cold. I swear this rain is not even normal rain. I swear it's freezing rain or something. Anyway, I'm currently at Fairview Mall. It's my new favorite mall that's uptown because it has everything. It has that bakery I literally showed you guys yesterday and it also has TNT now a brand new TNT it's just like I love it I feel like it's literally catered to the Asian immigrant aka myself so anyway it's Black Friday weekend I'm gonna see what I can get from the mall today and I will get back to you guys I know I said I would tell you what I got during Black Friday but you're gonna be just as surprised as I am I barely shopped on Black Friday I would say that the most significant thing that I did on Black Friday was change me and my entire family's phone plans if you guys didn't know I am the sugar daddy of this entire family I pay for their entire phone bill and thus it was in my best interest to switch everyone to a cheaper phone plan if you guys don't know every year on Black Friday if you're getting a new phone or if you're thinking about switching providers or if for some reason you don't already have a phone plan, like maybe if you are just moving to Toronto, the best time to get it is Black Friday weekend. And even if you already have one, it's also a good time to switch your phone plan into a cheaper plan. I used to work in telecom, so I know this. So if the in-market plans are not that great, you can actually ask to speak to loyalty, especially if you've been with the same service provider for a long time. They have a list of plans that aren't existent 
that you can see in the store. So just a little tip. I think the only things that I got are from MAC, just a few lip liners and lipsticks that I was missing. And then I shopped also from Monday Swimwear. I don't have it because I actually shipped it to Leisha's house and she's gonna bring it for me when she comes to Toronto. And I think the last thing that I shopped at, oh, was Levi's, but you know what? You guys are gonna see that jacket in the next vlog. So I'm gonna show you guys in the next vlog. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you next time. Bye.